What's up everyone, in this video I'm going to show how you can create your own last column function with and without VBA. First, I'm going to show how you can do it without VBA by using the lambda function. In cell B11, I'm going to type out the formula used to calculate the last column number. So I'm going to start off with equals and then you see lookup function. The lookup value will be true, comma. For the lookup vector, we're going to select any row we want to find the last column based on. So in this case, I'll just select row 2 and freeze the cell references is not equal to nothing and then we want to divide this whole thing from one so if i do one divided by row two is not equal to nothing inside of close parentheses as the second argument and comma the result vector will be the column function referencing all of row two and if we press enter we get back the number six which represents the sixth column in row two or the very last one now, I'm not going to go into too much details on how this formula works, but I did make a similar video before where I show you two Excel formulas you can use to find the last column number of any given row. So be sure to check the video out if you want to see additional formulas you can use to find the last column numbers. After we create the formula, we're going to wrap it around with the lambda function. After the equal sign, I'm going to type out lambda. The first argument will be the row range, and the second argument will be the formula. We're going to replace all reference of row 2 with the row range argument. Press enter. We're going to press enter again. We get back a calc error. Now we want to reference this function in the name manager. I'll copy everything after the equal sign. Go to the formulas tab, name manager, click on new. We will call this function underscore last underscore column underscore number. The scope will be the workbook. And for comment, I'm going to give it the brief description, find last column number based on any selected rows. Parameter will be row range. And in the refer to box, just paste the formula or the function right after the equal sign. Click OK. Now we have added the function to the name manager. Close this out. Now if I do equals to underscore last column number, we have access to it now. Find the last column number based on any selected row with the parameter row range tab and we're just going to take in one argument which will be the row range or the entire row so i'll select all of row two and we get back the same number six if i enter another data in row two column g we get back seven if i skip column h but enter something column i we get back column nine since column i is the ninth column from that row one downside to the custom function is that it's limited to only this workbook so if i open up a new excel file and type out equals to underscore we don't see the function appearing anymore. Well, that's because when we open up the new workbook, it's not automatically added to the name manager. If we want to have it automatically added to the name manager for this workbook, one thing we can do is that we can directly copy and paste the function into any cell in this worksheet. So I'm going to go back to the other workbook and just copy this function with the reference to row two and then go back to the other workbook or the new one. If I do control V, we get the function added to the formula bar here. Now, if I do equals to underscore, we have access to the function now. Now, I'm going to show you a workaround where with VBA, you can import the custom function directly to any workbook by just clicking on a button without having to copy and paste it from another source. I'm going to press Alt F11 to open up the VB editor screen. And we have this module called custom functions lambda under the personal workbook. Now that's very important to mention as this will only work if you have the personal workbook opened or if you reference the subroutine in the personal workbook. So I have the sub custom function with lambda and in the sub contains the lambda function for last column. You can just copy this code directly into your personal workbook, save it and close this out. And if you click on the import custom functions button, then you would automatically have access to that function. So let's test it out. I'm going to open up a new workbook. If I do equals to underscore, we don't see anything up here. But if I click on the import custom functions button I created here, click on this and then do equals to underscore. The function appears now. If you don't have access to the Lambda function, then you can use VBA instead to create your own user defined function to find the last column number from any row. I'm going to press Alt F11. And we're back to the VB editor screen, but this time I'm going to go to the add in file user defined functions here and then go to UDS module 
and under this modules, I have this function called last column that finds the last column number based on any selected row. The main goal of this function is to loop through each cell in the selected range. If the function sees a cell that is not empty, then keep track of what column number that cell is in in the last column variable. If an error occurs, then return zero instead. This function will be in the description box so that you can just copy and paste it directly into your module. Let's try to test this function out to see how it works. Going back to the worksheet, I'm going to type out equals to last column in cell B11. We're going to use the selected row as an argument. So in this case, I'm just going to select all of row two. You can freeze the references if you want. And then just press enter. And we get back the value six. If I enter something in column H, we should get back eight. And column I, we're going to get back nine. And if we go to the very last column in column XFD, a random value, we get back the very last column 16,384. That's it for how you can use a last column function in any Excel workbook with and without VBA. I hope you all found this video to be helpful. If you did, then please like and comment down below what else you'd want to see. And if you haven't already, subscribe. You can also follow me on Instagram and LinkedIn to get notified the next time I upload a video. Until then, I'll see you all again next time.